Hello and welcome to our first ever virtual salon for Concerts in Motion. I'm Nava Perlman and I am on the board of Concerts in Motion and I am your virtual host for tonight. Um, we are going to be hearing music tonight very much in the same way we would be if we were in person. We like to do these events um, with a little bit of uh, professional music, a little bit of student music, um, to give an idea of what's on offer for our recipients. So tonight you're going to be hearing first from the Emerald String Quartet. They are second year Oberlin Conservatory students and they will be playing the first movement of the Brahms A minor String Quartet. After that, you're going to hear from professional cellist Christine Lamprea. She is going to be playing the Gigue from Bach Suite Number no. 6. And after that, you're going to hear from our executive director and founder, Jennifer Finn. She will talk to you a little bit about our holiday appeal um, and a few other details about the organization. Before that happens, I just want to just let you know personally how I'm feeling right now about this organization. And in spite of the pandemic, I am actually very excited. And the reason is because we have been able to reach remotely more people um, than ever before. We are reaching about 800 individuals per week in the Long Island, Westchester, New York area. And that far exceeds what we are normally able to do. Um, now, the other thing that's quite wonderful is that we are still able to offer sort of tailored genre specific concerts. So if we have a, a community that wants Chinese music, we are still able to offer that. Klezmer, um, Spanish, uh, you, you name it, we, we have the musicians to do it. And thankfully, um, we've had so many enthusiastic musicians remain true to our mission and have been extremely helpful during this time. Um, and that includes our student volunteers who have done an amazing job of keeping up with visits and making the lives of isolated individuals just a little bit easier and better during this time. Um, these are people who still, as always, are reliant on music for, it's a, it's a lifeline, it's oxygen, it's that, that joy that you feel. Um, and right now, more than ever, they need that. Um, so that's all I'm going to say for now because I want you to be able to enjoy the music, um, but please just know how grateful we are that you could be here with us tonight. Thank you so much.
Thank you for being here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jennifer Finn, founder and executive director of Concerts in Motion. And I just want to thank you all for being here. Some of you joining us this evening are regular recipients on our virtual visiting program. And it is just, it's such a, a pleasure that you join us. Some of you are parents of our student volunteers, and we thank you also for your child's service. I want to thank the Emerald Quartet, Christine Lamprea, and board member Nava Perlman for their wonderful presentations this evening for all of you. I'm here tonight to underline for you that the need for what Concerts in Motion does is, is greater than we would have ever imagined in our entire 10 year history. Our musicians are experiencing catastrophic layoffs we are continuing to hire them and, and pay them to perform on the virtual programs. Our student volunteers, who, who many of whom lost their school structure in the spring, continued to participate through the darker days of the pandemic and continue to bring incredibly beautiful performances to many, many people who they would have never reached when we were still in our in-person um, organizational setup. So our students are reaching residents living on Long Island, Westchester, and in parts of the outer boroughs that would have been geographically impossible to organize in the past. So we just want to thank them for their volunteer service, thank our musicians for their incredible, tireless effort to get their performances on Zoom in a professional manner that we felt we could present. And finally, I want to thank our staff team for their incredible, tireless efforts together as a team. We scripted our concerts so that there are very nice balance of music and interaction. So everyone who joins the concerts can speak to the musicians, the musicians can speak back to them, and everyone has a wonderful time. It is a true community that we're building here online on Zoom. So I wanna thank you for your consideration in giving to Concerts in Motion's holiday appeal. At the end of our presentation, there will be a link for you to, to give, and all gifts, large and small, are important to us. And with that, I will leave you with a beautiful film created by our advanced high school leader, John Block, and his fellow students. Please enjoy.
I'm so grateful that Concerts in Motion has been able to continue spreading music and healing, particularly during this difficult time. One of the big silver linings of this pivot to virtual concerts is that transportation to the concerts isn't really a barrier at all. My grandparents, who don't live in New York, have actually been able to join so many virtual concerts, and it's always so nice to see them since I haven't really been able to visit them at all during the pandemic. The virtual visiting series has been such a gift during the pandemic. I'm so, so grateful that I've been able to check in weekly with my elderly friends and recipients. I've also met so many new other youth performers, recipients, and pro musicians during this time, and am so excited for how we've been able to grow our community through the virtual visiting series. Being able to work with Concerts in Motion virtually has been one of the greatest gifts that's come out of the past six months, really. I think that Concerts in Motion has mastered the art of the virtual concert. They know everything there is to know about Zoom and everything there is to know about connecting via Zoom. And I think that's so important because in this time filled with uncertainty and lack of social interaction and connection, I mean, to come together and create music and just talk about art is something that you can't find anywhere else during this time. virtual concerts, I played a piece called Consolation by List. And after I played, one of the recipients unmuted themselves and said, thank you so much for taking me out of COVID New York. You sent me to heaven. And when that happened, it just hit me that even though we aren't performing in person, we can still make an impact on people, especially during a time when people are so cooped up inside and need concerts in motion more than ever. Um, I played an early Beatles song, All My Loving, I think, and all of these ladies had been teenagers or young women during Beatlemania, and I remember this one moment, we were all joking about who our favorite Beatle was. Oh, I love Paul, I love, I love George, and it was just so hilarious, because, you know, we're such different ages, but we were fawning over our favorite Beatle members. I could feel their joy as I watched um, then through the computer screen and I was reminded of all the other recipients, all my family members and how happy they would be whenever we perform for them and especially during these difficult times, I'm so grateful that Concerts in Motion is able to continue sharing the power of music with our community. I continue to volunteer with Concerts in Motion because performing in youth concerts, in person or virtual, allows me to discover ways in which music can provide an experience that transcends barriers and now transcends physical location. At every concert, I am inspired by the audience, my fellow youth performers, and the power of music. Blue bird.